Brittany from Just Be Crafty and today I'm going to demonstrate the Chunky Cow Crochet Pattern, which is a free pattern I feature on my blog, JustBeCrafty.com. To get started, you'll need one skein of Bernat Collegiate Chunky Yarn in gray or a super bulky acrylic yarn. Bernat Softy would be a good alternative if you can't find the Collegiate Chunky Yarn. You'll also need a size 9mm crochet hook a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. This pattern is great for beginners and works up very quickly, so it makes for a great last minute gift idea. And without further ado, let's get started. We'll begin with a slip knot. And we will chain one six, 162 chains. And if you need help with chaining, I'll have my tutorial on how to do the foundation chain in the description box below. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video until you have 162 chains, go right ahead and meet me back here. Alright, so we should now have 162 chains on our foundation chain and we're going to start row 1. So to start row 1, we're going to half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So to half double crochet, you want to yarn over and then the pattern tells us that we're going to start in the third chain from the hook. So that's 1, 2, 3. So that's this stitch right here. So we've yarned over and we're starting in that third chain from the hook. So we're going to insert our hook into that chain, grab the working yarn, pull it through the hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that's a half double crochet. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to half double crochet in every chain until we get to the end of the row. So we'll do a half double crochet again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. Alright, so we're just going to keep doing this in every chain across the entire row. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video and meet me back here at the end of the round, that would be great. So that was the last stitch of row one. Now we can begin row two. So to begin row two, we'll flip our work or turn our work and we'll start working back the other way. So for row two, we'll be working in the back loops only. And what that means is we'll be working in the loops that are furthest from us. So if you look at your work, you'll see each stitch, each stitch has two loops. So the loop that's closest to you, that's the front loop, and the loop that's furthest from you, that's the back loop. So to get started, we'll yarn over, and then starting in the first stitch, so we'll be going in this back loop. Insert your hook into the back loop only. Grab your working yarn, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through all loops on your hook. And there you have your half double crochet in the back loop only. So I'll show you again. Yarn over, insert your hook into that back loop, Grab your working yarn, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. So now we're just going to do that in every stitch to the end of the row. So once you complete the end of the row, meet me back here again. I'm now just finishing up row two. Alright, so to start row 3, we're going to turn our work, and we're going to chain 2, 
and we're just going to repeat row two. So for rows three through 11, we're just gonna do the same thing that we just did, which is yarn over and then half double crochet in that back loop. And we're just gonna work those back loop half double crochets all the way to the end of the row. And we're just gonna keep repeating this until we have 11 rows total. All right, so all 11 half double crochet rows should be done. You can go ahead and cut your yarn, leaving about an arm's length tail. Fold your piece in half. And line up your two, line up your two ends. So you fold it in half like this. Take your yarn needle, and then we're just gonna simply stitch the two sides together. You can just kind of line your stitches up and then just go back and forth. There's really no special way to do this. We're just about done stitching this together. Once you get to the other end, to secure, you can just kind of stick your needle in and kind of make a little knot. To secure it. Pull the knot kind of tight. And now we're just going to weave it around. Once you've weaved in your end pretty sufficiently, then you can go ahead and cut the yarn and then turn it right side out and see it just kind of leaves the minimal seam. And now you're done. And here's a look at the finished project. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel.